hey you guys welcome back to my channel it was such a beautiful day today i had to head over to the beach in case you guys didn't know i'm in cape town south africa as you can see the table mountain back there and summer is right at our doorsteps and i thought it would be cool if i take you guys with me to the beach today it was so beautiful This is the set we're going to be creating today using fiberglass. So enough of the dilly dallying. Let me show you guys how I created this look. So as per usual, I do have some base coat on my nails, but this specific one, it is slightly grown out. That's because it's from my previous set. And if you're curious to see how that turned out, head over to and click on this video on my channel. Um, but for now, let's focus on today's set. I bought this fiberglass from Shein and it was very inexpensive. I'll leave a link in the description box if you guys are interested. I'm also going to be going in with just a regular palette and, <laughs> and a chopstick. Don't worry, it is clean um, and you'll see why. I went ahead and grabbed some of the fiberglass. It already comes um, cut when you take it out of the packet. It, it's kind of like stacked on top of each other. So when you do this process or of when you're rolling it out, it levels it out nicely and it makes it much more easier to work with. So I kept going in and making sure and it will fit on my nail from side wall to side wall. So now I'm going in and I'm priming my nail. After that, I'm applying my hard gel. And as you can see, I'm only applying it on the part where, on the part of my nail that I'm going to apply the fiberglass. Then I gently press the fiberglass onto the nail. Now I kind of made a mistake here and I noticed that it was too much fiberglass and the gel was struggling to get saturated in it. So I removed some of it and as you can see now it's nice and transparent where the gel has saturated it on my natural nail. So I went in ahead and I cured that with my flashlight for 60 seconds. After that I went in and I just used my nippers. Now I'm going in with the same hard gel and I'm applying it on the rest on the top side of the nail. I kind of left a gap on the side which I wished I had taken time and filled or added a little bit more fiberglass at the edge there. But I decided not to but I ended up regretting it um, because it left a gap that was just hard to work with. And now I'm going in with my pinching tool, the specific one I bought from Shein. Again, I'll leave a link in the description box. If you're interested in buying it, very good quality, um, I do recommend. And now I went and applied the hard gel under the nail. And as you can see, the C curve was not C curving. <laughs> Now I'm going in with my rubber base coat, but it was not the right um, product to use. I wish I'd had a hard gel that is nude um, because it took me longer to do the rubber base coat because I had to apply multiple layers for it to get thick. I couldn't use that one bead method where I just floated on because it wouldn't cure properly. So after that I just made sure that I'm continuously pinching my nail just making sure that I'm getting that C curve so 
So this is the gap I was talking about earlier. It really ended up really irritating me. I wish I had added more fiberglass to that spot so that it wouldn't leave a dent there. But it's okay. I was really happy with I was very happy with how the nail turned out. At this point I was a pro, okay? I had made all the mistake on my thumb and now with the rest of my nails it was it was such a breeze. The whole process went by very quickly. So and I applied, I applied the fiberglass on all my nails and right after that I did the same process of applying the hard gel on the top of the nail and underneath the nail and I cured for 60 seconds and I went in with the rubber base on all my nails and this is how they turned out. Um, very very nice and I was happy with the color and I was happy with the c-curve. It took a lot of pinching but it, I was very happy with the c-curve and this is how they looked underneath. You could still see the strands of the fiberglass um, but I just added at the end I just applied top coat and yeah it looked like a normal nail. I went ahead and filed my nails off camera and this is how they turned out. Really, really loved this shape. I ended up filing the thumb shorter um, than the rest because of that dent I showed you guys. But nonetheless, I was very happy with how the shape turned out. Uh, now I'm going in and cleansing my nails, making sure they are dust free because we're ready to do the nail art, which is my favorite part. So we're doing half a French design and half a cheetah or cheetah print design the other half of the nail doing half French on the nail was actually harder than I thought it would be um, but I went ahead and did this and um, yeah it took a lot of trials because I'm used to doing French on the entire nail Now um, I went in with this nice pink neon shade and I went ahead and applied this on the other half of my nails. And this is how they turned out after two coats. I was very happy. Now I'm going in with the um, with the cheetah print and I'm doing blobs of just just blobs. It doesn't have to be uniform. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm going in with the white because I'm going to be doing yellow. And I knew that the yellow was not going to show up as well on top of the pink. So the white was just to help the yellow pop. And right on top of that white, after I cured for 60 seconds, I'm applying the yellow. After that, I cured in my lamp for 60 seconds. So I just want to take a moment and say thank you so much. If you clicked on this video, please hit the subscribe button and join in the family. Also press the like button so that this video can reach more people. And I just want to say hey to the new subscribers. And leave a comment down below. Let me know which part of the world are you. As I mentioned, I'm in Cape Town, South Africa. And yeah, it would just be so cool to hear where the rest of my subscribers are from. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much. After I was done with the yellow, now I'm going in with the black again. Cheetah print is very easy to do. You don't have to worry about clean, smooth lines. You just go ahead and trace out the yellow and you can decide how many blobs you want to add of black around the yellow and then I added an, um, a few just around the yellow just to give it pizzazz you know just to, <laughs> just to make it pop just to make it look cool and after that I went ahead and did that for the rest of my nails and I cured that for 60 seconds and this is how they turned out now at this point I still felt like something was missing so I decided to add the transfer foil so now um, I went in with my foil gel and I'm using my liner brush to just make sure that I'm doing a very neat line um, and making sure that the yeah the foil gel doesn't bleed into the pink um, this was very hard to do I really wish I had a metallic blue um, gel color that would have been way easier than using the foil method and another thing that was annoying is that the next day the foil started peeling off and I think I need to look for another foil gel because the quality of foil gel that I have is not that great
So I went ahead and I rubbed in the foil. And when I peeled it off, I was very happy with how that looked. And I knew this was what, and I knew this is what was missing. And for me, I felt like the design was complete and I was very satisfied with how that turned out. So I kept on pressing. If you see me pressing multiple times, it's because sometimes there'll be a slight gap or a part that didn't get the, um, the color. Now I'm going in with my non-wipe top coat and this was really very satisfying because I could see the design and the whole thing looked really nice. The whole design looked really, really nice. And after it's done, I cured in my lamp for 60 seconds. And after that, I'm going in with my cuticle moisturizer and then my um, cuticle oil and then just make sure that my skin is nice and moisturized and this is the final design you guys a very very nice I was very happy with this um, again if you guys have made it this far on my video thank you so much I'm gonna see you guys next week with another fun video don't forget to leave a comment don't forget to click that like button and most importantly don't forget to subscribe have a fantastic day wherever you are and yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.